So welcome to our first MPC Beats Academy lesson. Now in this lesson, we're going to be covering the basics of navigating around MPC1. So you know some of the key functionality. Now when you turn on MPC1, you'll see the demo screen. So we can select a demo song and this will load straight into the memory and then we can press play. Now instantly, we have sounds already up and running. So you could play your pads. We can go up to our track where it says drums and select another instrument. Turn our data wheel and we can see all the different instruments. We could solo these. We can use our plus and minus on our screen to jump between the different tracks. So demo projects allow us to get up and running very quickly. But what I'm going to be walking you through is how to use the MPC1 and the MPC workflow from the ground upwards from a brand new project. So let's press our folder icon and we're going to go new. And this will take us back to our home demo page. And then we're going to press empty project. So the first thing we need to understand is what this page is. Now, this page is really all of our sequence information. So we're always going to be working from this window. So if you ever get lost and you're in another page, you can press the main button and it will take you back to the main window. Now, if you're in a different mode on the touch UI, again, press the home icon and it will take you back to the main window. So let's look at the first section. Now, sequence. This is what I would class the name of my beat or the name of my production. So let's give it a name. We go to our edit icon, press our quirky keyboard, and let's call this Beats Academy. Once you've added your name, just press do it. And then we will navigate back to our main home window. Then we need to give our beat a tempo. So our tempo, we want to be working with 140 BPM. So let's enter our tempo and then we need to give it a length. So our beat could be eight bars, but we're going to be working in four bars. Then underneath this, we have our tracks, which is where we record our ideas. Now tracks I would class as layers on a song. So you have drums, bass, keyboards, guitars, vocals. Now each of those is a track. So when you're making beats on MPC, each track is a layer to your production. So let's name our track. We'll call this drums. And once we've named our track, we'll go back to main. And now we're gonna look at modes. Now modes gives us different ways that we can record directly onto our tracks. So this icon means drum mode. So my pads are basically triggering drum hits, samples, one shots, you know, kicks, snares, hi-hats. So this is the mode that you're in most of the time. Now next to that, we have a plugin icon. Now when you press this, you can now access the three internal plugin instruments inside MPC1. Then we've got key group sampled instruments. So this basically means that we can load up sample based instruments and the pads become a keyboard. Then we've got clip launching. Now this means that we can trigger loops very similar to Force and Ableton and it uses a quantize so they're always in time and they use real time time stretching and pitch shifting so you can manipulate the tempo. Next to that we have MIDI. So MPC1 has a MIDI in and a MIDI out so you can sequence your external keyboards or modules. Then the final mode is CV gate. So if you use your modular rack, you've got up to eight CV gate outputs that you can connect and you can sequence these directly inside MPC1 sequencer. Before we make any beats, we need to know how to save our work. So press the folder icon and now we can press the save button and MPC will save our project to its internal SSD or we can press save as and rename and send to a new location. You can also press shift and the dedicated save button. Now we're gonna be sticking with our drum mode and to load our drum kits, we go to our drum program and we turn our data wheel, but we haven't loaded any drum kits in yet. So we need to access our libraries. So to do this, we're gonna press our browser button and this takes us straight to MPC One's factory library. Now the first tab is drums, which means that we're searching for all the drum kits. Then we have instruments and then samples for individual one shots. And then we have splice where we can synchronize our splice desktop library into MPC. 
but we're going to be using drums. Now, you also see a tab on the right which has four squares. Now, this means that we're searching for all of our drum programs. So what we can do, we can take our data wheel and we can scroll down and it will preview what the kit's going to sound like. Now, all of these are being produced by professional sound designers, so they are instantly ready for you to load up straight to the pads. We can search by genre type and this will now pull up all of the kits within that genre. Now, the kits you need to load to follow our Beats Academy lessons are the following. And these are from DCAP, OV Kit, and Menace Kit. Just press the Load tab and these will load directly into MPC1's memory. So now that we've got some kits loaded, let's navigate back to our main window. And if we select the Drum Program tab, we can use our data wheel and scroll through the kits that we've preloaded. So now that we've covered the basics of navigating around MPC1, let's head over to our first lesson of making our beat from scratch inside MPC1. See you there.